Yes, it is time for another episode of Eleven Somerset. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we have a fantastic episode for you. Last time we had the Indian's ear, which was quite good. But today we are going to do the dancing dog, the dancing dog. No, seriously, the dancing dog. The Society of Enigma has just received a video file depicting a dancing dog. We've never seen anything like this before. What in the world is behind this dog's strange talent? Go to Eleven Somerset. There you will find clues to help your investigation. Good luck. This is gonna be a fancy episode, but to be honest, it is actually quite a fantastic episode. I think this is going to be one of the best episodes of the series yet, and it is nothing like you're imagining right now. So let's get on to it. We're actually at 11 Somerset, the uh, residence. So if you're thinking 11 Somerset, what is it about? Well, it's about this residence. Sorry. Hope that wasn't valuable. Uh, sorry I can't be there with you. Make yourself at home. But whatever you do, don't touch my dad's Ming vase. It's a priceless antique. Yeah, and he just puts it in the living room. Okay. That's bad. We're going to repair the vase. And uh, let's see. Explore a little bit further, TV. Not working. Do ghosts exist? Well, who can tell? If you've seen one, you can say yes. Okay, this can be interesting. And that's about it. For this room, let's head on to what seems to be an office of some sort. Okay, let's have a little look. Great. 
fucking say that. <laughs> Trampling sheep. Apparently a disease. Got a book by John Marson. The viruses attack. Talks about the SARS and the chicken flu, which um pretty serious viruses in real life. Another URL, that's good. We're gonna try that out. Put it in the computer. What's this heli attack? We've been there before. Our first episode. This article explains the first implant in a living organism. That's quite interesting. A drawer. Locked, but not for long. Okay, this says Healy Attack, some sort of skeleton animal implant remote control device thingy. This sounds very, very, very strange. Well, that's it for here. Let's head up these creaky stairs. So, left or right, we are going right. Laptop. <coughs> the dog that just couldn't smell. Sounds like a movie, but it is actually uh, some sort of infection. Circus is in town. Oh, this is Pucci. It's a dog that can sort of do like basketball jumps and and dances as well. So that's evidence that dogs can dance. Ugh. Okay. Well, don't look at that for long. Ah. No control. Uh, we can use that somewhere. Light. Doesn't do anything, but illuminate the place a bit. One more room. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Oh. Another URL. Amazing. Let's see if we can find another laptop. Look at that. That is great, isn't it? Lava lamp. Amazing. I'm gonna leave that on. Lorisa, I saw Dr. Vidal near your house, behind the bushes. It was him, I swear. classmate with a distressing call about Dr. Vidal being in the bushes somewhere outside the house. <laughs> We've seen that before. <clears throat> Sorry. Right, camera. That's what we've been looking for. Um, the 
this tape to good use. Let's see how it works. First, we are going to turn it on. And get the screen up. And push the eject button. Uh, let's see this one first. Just remember, a true scientist isn't fooled by appearances. He seeks proof. Okay. Interesting. This was the uh, the chap that was snoring in one of the offices in chapter one. If you can remember, if you've ever seen chapter one, if you haven't. Go and see it. It's quite good. Okay. Second tape. Okay, so this is the dog that is actually in the video that was dancing, and this logo means the Healy Attack logo. So, we have a dog there. Very curious. Anyway, that's it for the camera. Um, oh. Let's go downstairs again, because... Um, got the remote control and another URL. Mm. Mm. Right, this is the St. Agnes Academy we went to in episode 2 or 3. I can't remember. It's been so long. Mm. But we do remember that one. The white Gorilla. This message again. Indicates we've solved most of the clues, but not all. We're missing five of them. Uh, is there anything? Oh, right. Hey, it's Laurie. Okay, she was at Healy Attack. Interesting. So let's look for those last four clues. We've got the remote control, so we can now try and see if there's anything on television. Why not? Hang about a bit. Tracking dogs are able to follow the traces of missing people or sniff for drugs. Other dogs can be trained for patrol or attack in special units. That is... True. Nothing on challenge two. The cows, some of which have contracted mad cow disease, have been killed. Special measures have been taken so that the disease doesn't spread. Well, that is just very, very ugly. It's hard to look at. I'm sorry, I'm going to skip this. A witness saw the body revive at the city morgue, only to disappear without a trace. I have with me George Vidal's colleagues. What happened, Doctor? Oh, the intruder was positively identified. It was Dr. Vidal. Many questions remain unanswered. Oh, yeah, Mr. Vidal. Where is he? Oh, that reminds me. The last clue... I've missed somehow because it's upstairs and <laughs> I now know why I missed it because it's here in the telescope and, um, we can have a little look around there's the moon Nothing else here. <laughs> yes, look at his eyes. Ugh. Oh, God. Anyway, we've done it. We're going to send in our answer. Now, again, this dancing dog. Is he well trained? There is, there is evidence of that. Is it a robot dog? Pooh, it's hard. 
Is it a sick dog? Well, I do not think so. But to be honest, it's a robot dog. Yep, we found quite a bit of proof um, that the dog that was kept here in the Heliotech is actually being manipulated with these implants. Yeah, it is It is pretty, pretty disgusting. Um, but uh, Laurie here was doing some investigation there. Well, what did she find out? So once again, we've solved this. So have a little look. The robot dog, the cybernetic company Heliotech, works on prototypes of robotic implants for humans. During an experiment, researchers implanted their prototype in a dog so that they could control it from a distance. To make it dance, all they had to do was press a button. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, yeah, it kind of is, but it also quite intriguing. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And, um, well, we only got a couple to go, so stay tuned.